Nice. Oh! Oh, boss! Oh, no! Oh, nice, nice, nice. We are so full packed. We can sell a lot of that stuff, which is going to be awesome. Oh, my Lord. If this is the... Tra it isn't the trader. What is this? Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kings and welcome back to Smarter Days Today. We're playing 7 Days Today Modern and we are here with War of the Walkers 5.2. Yes, it finally came out. It's not officially on the mod launcher yet. I think that's because it's a separate process that the mod launcher has to be updated with all this information. But um, I'm going to link the official forum post below in the description and that's where you can get all the details. And if you want to download it right now in case it hasn't been added to the mod launcher yet by the time you see this video, you can get it there for yourself and do the shenanigans manually as you always did if you're used to to do things before the mod launcher that was a mouthful anyway we're here this is the starting screen manly war cry is going to be my seat it will also be in the description below this is the settings i'm going to start off with survivalist 18 120 minutes 32 minutes blood moon everything else default and airdrops on this is gonna be amazing guys i hope you guys are excited i hope you're gonna enjoy the episode if you do remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started Excellent, and here we are, starter quest line has been shortened. If you're not sure of the basics of 7 Days to Die, then I suggest playing Vanilla first for a while. This quest is for placing the player starter crate, where inside you will find useful items to get you started. After completing the next quest for placing the bedroll, you will then receive all class quests. But it's not as easy as you think. I was warned that it actually will take some time to complete your class quest, which is really nice to see. We got some new items. This is amazing. Okay, we're going to get our bandages. Let me just go into favorites first. Um, land claim block. Okay. And quest trader located. Oh, nice. Oh, this is exciting. Guys, I'm so excited about this. Oh, I picked it straight back up. <laughs> oh, I'm such a moppet. Oh, I was afraid to destroy it there for a second. It's all so strange. Oh, nice. Look at that. We got some basic resources. That is awesome. Okay, so now let's gather some plant fiber as we always do. Now I have everything set up to... Whatchamacallit? The second highest difficulty level. So we want to be careful about uh, shenanigans because... Oh, look at that beautiful... Oh my golly gosh, look at that where we spawned. That is just beautiful. That is so awesome! What is that? Is there like a town and something awesome over there on the hill? Oh, shenanigans. That is awesome! Okay, I can't wait to explore this. Like, I mean, we're near town now. I'm, I'm not going to go and... Oh, what is that? Okay, I, I, this, is, this is amazing. Okay, we already have a lot of new POIs as well added to the game, including the Bearded Guys Barbershop, which I can't wait to find. So, like I said, if you want to watch my update video for a detailed look, at um, all the parts that have changed for 5.2 where I went through the document, the, the, the patch notes or the update document and went over it uh, in detail, you can have a look at that. I will have it linked in the description below as well. So now let's have a look what else it needs us to do. It craft a, a bed roll, AKA bread roll, yes! Journal entry, bed roll, there we go. What's next? Quest completed, basic survival too. Now let's see our, oh, look at that. Is that, oh, nice. So they actually are already unlocked. That is awesome. Now the electrician class is what I want to actually go after. So we have to gather electrical parts. So I suppose we could do all of them simultaneously in a way, because I like that actually, because if I kill 25 animals, you know, why shouldn't it count towards progress of something? That is it. So we actually did the first class, uh, the first quest, and it unlocked all the other ones here. You can see it popping in down there now. That is actually pretty cool. So the electrician class, builder's class. Okay, so we're just going to continue working away, I suppose, in our game. And we're going to complete things as we go along. Anyway, it's something new. We have to get used to it. Hopefully we get our way. We find our way through it. So let's see what we have to do next. Gather wood, of course. We have wood. Oh my balls. Look at the builder class. It's 10,000 wood, 10,000 stone and 10,000 plant fiber. And you actually have to have them in your inventory at the same time, I believe. So if we drop this, it's gone. You see that? It's gone. So you only can actually manage to do that if you have at any one time in your inventory that number. Okay, let's leave the bed. Um... Ah, no, let's take it with us. There's absolutely nothing we have here in the moment. So let's craft some basic weapons. Um, we need, we have some wood, so let's get a bow going. There we go, wooden bow. Let's craft that. Very nice. 
Yeah, it's a very, very long start. So sorry for all the waffle, but it is new. It is something we have to get used to. Journal entry, alternate ammo. Oh, yes. We want to get also this guy here. Read this and find the White River Citizen. Let's see. White River Citizen, 1.4 kilometers. Let's do that actually as the main focus first so that we can actually get there. Because if money is what we need to buy class specific items, then that is obviously where we want to um, be near at least one of the traders. Okay, so weapon wise, what do we do? A club? Yeah. Oh, we can't even do Iron Reinforced Club yet. Okay, fair enough. We have five points. Let me see. Where's the clubs? Iron Reinforced Club. Club Crafting. Yes, there we go. Two points. Should I do this? Yes, I should. And then we're going to do the smithing. And we're going to go into weapon smithing straight away with our first three points. And that is five points spent, guys. That is going to be amazing because now our Iron Reinforced Club is already the next level up. And we're going to do a new wooden bow as well. Because we might as well just get this uh, the next higher level. That is going to be cool. So we can scrap this then and uh, continue. Now, where are we going to go? I don't want to go too close to the big town there yet. Because I don't have any weapons. I don't have anything yet. So I don't have anything to fight zombies with. We're going to have to find um, bird's nests. Oh, rubbish. Nice. Oh, nothing in it. Bird's nests and rubbish and all the shenanigans. And pick all that up. Oh, yes. So we can make some nice, lovely goldenrod tea. And start planting things at the first POI we come across, just in case we stay long enough for it to grow. There we go. Look at that. Nice. So what do we have here now? We have a 50 bow. Thank you very much. And a 50 reinforced club with 6.3 damage. That's good enough. That is better than nothing right now. We also want to get some wood frames going. You really want to know your game now because it's not telling you what to craft. It's like, oh, don't care. You can craft what you want. I do not care anymore. This is up to you, shenanigans. Okay, let's see. Wood. Let's get mining up and let's always use uh, the stone axe to get uh, plant fiber. That probably is a good idea. There we go. Nice. What type of biome is that? That is such a weird cut in half biome. Okay. Oh, where's aloe vera? Oh, what is that? Oh, that's just a tree. Okay. Desert. Okay, we have some iron here. That's iron. It is, yes. But, we, oh, hammer? Pickaxe? Oh, pickaxe. Where's our first pickaxe? Let me see. Our first pickaxe could be the iron pickaxe. Scrap iron pickaxe. Ooh, scrap iron tools. We already have that. So all we need is iron. If we get 40 iron, we can make a scrap iron pickaxe. And we actually can get 40 iron if we just stand here for a little bit and uh, do that. Because I think four of those, one gives you, gives you only three iron. But if you do four at the same time, I think it gives you uh, nearly 20 iron or something. Now, this first episode of 5.2 probably will go out as soon as I'm finished recording. Well, I have to render it and I have to edit it. But it will go out ASAP. And then for tonight, you will probably see the second episode already. And I know we're in the middle of alternating between starvation and rave nurse and all that. But when something new comes out, we're going to have to cover it. That's the way it is. And then we're going to continue with raven nurse and starvation mod. No problem. And with the 5.71. So what I probably will do is I will have like a... Uh, a War of the Walker day where the first episode is 5.2 and then the second episode on the day is the 5.1 uh, 5.7.1 where we continue working on our base because we have everything there we have been to the big retirement home and everything so we already have everything we need so building is basically all we're going to be focusing on and I really would like to continue the base that we're working on and a lot of you actually agreed on that and you would like to see it uh, continuing one two three four there you go very good I like it that gives you a 15 it's actually 3.75 or something like iron you get for scrapping each of those iron but if you do one it's two if you do two it's seven and if you do three how much would three be um 11 so you're better off with um for it was four at a time like i suppose like or eight even that should give us 30 yeah there you go so that's fine and now we got enough scrap iron to get us started so let's get a proper scrap iron axe going there we go look at that nice and then we're going to be able to get more of these uh things very very easily i don't want to go into the desert biome that's a big no no what the hell is that over there that is a huge building i think we should definitely focus on uh getting to the white river guys here let me see on the map where they actually are let me put that pointer on there as well just in case so we don't go in the wrong direction there we go we have to go over there that looks like a boat that looks like a pirate boat that is weird Okay, let's see what the story is with that. 
Nice, look at that. And we're rocking and rolling, guys. That is awesome. Scrap iron tools for days. That is awesome. Look at that. We're gonna take this apart. We're gonna make also the next the scrap iron axe. I suppose it's gonna be a thing. The scrap iron axe. There we go. Look at this. That is awesome. And then we can get rid of our stone axe. That is sweet. And we already have the scrap tools. Oh man, we're progressing fast, guys. Now I know I'm wine. I'm. I'm uh, it's a. It's a bit long, and usually I cut out a lot of that stuff uh, in a game. But when it's a new version and all that, you want to cover it. You want to, uh, you know, have the moments together of exploration, which is absolutely fantastic. We're gonna have to go that way anyway for the trader. So hopefully we can get close enough to see what this huge pirate uh, looking like ship thing is. Oh man. Scrap iron, look at that. Oh my dear lord. Now, oh, rebar. Guys, also this mod added 50, like 11 more rebar frame shapes, which means, oh, look at that rebar. Oh my lord, it's crafted at the forge. And you need rebar to make rebar frames. That is insane. Oh, that is so cool. And another thing, look at all these shapes, rebar frame plates and poles. And oh man, that is just beautiful. I love it. Oh man, I can't wait. Uh, that That is really, really nice. Absolutely loving the idea of that. Now let's head over here. Let's walk towards our trader, collect all the food and drink we can along the way. And have a look at, oh, this is a nice green patch area as well. Maybe that's the trader. Maybe these ships are the traders. That would be awesome. Well, out of the nine POIs that actually were added, two log houses in the wilderness have been added and one tree house. I know I already said all that in the update video, but I'm just quickly going over it here. And it dwells Unreal Superstore, Stupor Store, dwells Drunk Brewery. I actually have no idea what these guys look like. So I probably wouldn't even know when I'm in it. It's like you don't even know what's biting you in the ass. Look at that cars already. That is so nice. Gonna loot that. Okay. Oh, there's our first zombie attack. Oh my lord, it's an NPC. Did you attack us? Did you try to attack us? Can we talk to you? Okay, I better not get too close because sometimes, I don't know, these NPCs, they can be evil, I suppose, and they can all of a sudden attack you and then, boom, dead, shenanigans. Yes! Oh, oh no feathers, are you kidding me? We're gonna have to keep an eye out for these guys because we need feathers. Okay, let's keep picking this stuff up as well. Oh, look at that. That is a pirate ship. That is... How sick is that? What is, that is not one of the new prefabs. Bearded guys and a bunch of new farm POIs with modded farming. I can't wait to find them. Is that one of them? Oh, that... Okay, we might as well loot this house while we're here, guys. Now, I really do like that the class quests are not anymore that easy. Now, I'm not sure about the class quests... Um, uh, uh, taking that long, like 10,000. It depends how the progress is in general, because I know that War of the Walkers is not the mod that locks a lot of things behind perks on progress. Like, Raveners would be way more strict on some things, and Starvation mod is also very strict on uh, the tools and stuff you get access to for progression. So, oh, look at that. There's our first zombie dude. Yes, Bird's Nest. I can spot them for miles, and I probably missed a couple you guys are already going to tell me about. <laughs> Oh, look, this is unlocked. And we already got a bookshelf. That is so cool. Do we see anything interesting in there? Oh, a fragment. Nice. I love it. Gather all ABC fragments to craft the class paper for that part of the class quest chain. So basically, these class papers, what it used to be, it used to be the other way around. Like, if you don't know 5.7.1, don't worry about it. Yeah, but if, if you know what I'm talking about, you know, and you're probably going to see the difference going like, what? So the scholar class paper, you would have usually found these things first or crafted them first. And then that would unlock the quest chain for you to actually continue. Now, what it does now is this will be quest five of that class. So if you want to complete the scholar class quest, the very final part of the quest will be finding these fragments. So in the beginning of a 5.2 game, do not throw them out because who knows if you're going to find all of them by the time you finish that quest. Because then you're gonna sit there going, oh, I can't complete that quest. And I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of uh, hiding things like that behind um, RNG. But to be honest, by the time you get to the final part of the quest, look at that, there's another part already. And it's a scholar class as well. So we might even, we might be able to craft it. So, oh, nice, a fishing book. That is sweet, let's read that. 
And we get the fishing pole. Oh, we're gonna have to try that. I think the fishing pole used to used to be booked. I'm not 100% sure, but oh, look at that, a baited fishing pole. How can we make the fishing pole? Oh, all we need is lead fishing weight. Yeah, excellent. Can't wait to find some. Oh, nice. Oh, we don't have any lockpicks. And I think the, the covert class is the only one that actually can make lockpicks. Let me see lockpicks. Door and safe. Oh, how awesome is that? Crafted in the forge was an anvil. And I think it's a recipe that only the... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're going to make some arrows there, Charlie. We're going to get you all right. Look at that. Nice. Favorite. Sweet. Now, shh, we have to be quiet. We want to get that stack right into the ass. Nice, and we got it, baby. Okay, we don't have a bone shift yet, so this is what we're gonna use for now. Come on, get me a bone. Height, meat, fat. I want a bone, baby. Give me a bone so we can make a bone shift. Yes, we can make a bone shift and we can finish it off. It was the bone shift, which is absolutely awesome. Now, oh, oh, there we go, there we go, come on. Nice, because that is what you were supposed to use. Sweet, the first bladed weapon in the game. Now, let's get a little bit of that and let's see what's going on here. Nice, love it. Straight away, getting some stone going, getting some potassium going and iron. Very good. Now, the next set uh, of rock formations we're gonna come across, we wanna get some clay. I'm gonna finish that, might as well finish that. And then actually, you know what, let's finish looting the house first because we have stone already. We don't know, oh, there is more bookcases. What a nice find. This here, destroy, 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 guys. It gives you the leather you need in the beginning to make the forge. I don't know if the forge is locked behind anything, but you want to get your leather so you can make the bellow. There you go, you see that here? Four leather. And if you come across a bathroom, a toilet, destroy it because it will give you the pipe. We're going to try to do this as efficient as possible because we cannot re uh, rely now on overpowered class rewards. It's not a thing anymore, guys. It's not a thing anymore. Oh, nice. Pick up these chairs. They're very good firewood. Cooking pot straight away. Love it. Oh, my dear Lord. Look how lucky we were. Oh, there is more bookshelves. Are we going to take the pictures? Why not? You know what? I'm going to go absolutely ape on the... Oh, nice. Look, water. That is so cool. There's flowing water in a house. That is so awesome. So you can fill up your own nice coffee seats. So you can fill up your jars. I hope that's in every bathroom like that. Oh man, I still need my coffee. Guys, I went to bed this morning at about half five, six o'clock because I was doing like a two, I was doing that unexpected video before and then I had to catch up with Arkham. I had an awesome stream last night. Thank you very much again, guys, for joining. And then I had woke up by chance at about uh, half eight. And so I slept about two and a half hours or something. And I woke up by half eight by chance. And I was thinking, Do you know what? I wonder if we can get uh, 5.2 working. And it worked. So screwed. We're recording it. Okay, that is... Oh, we haven't touched that yet. What do we get from that? Mechanical parts we only get was the wrench. Yeah. Oh, we got six pieces of iron. That is actually very good in the beginning. That is nice. Let's pick up these chairs. Let's loot that as well. Oh, chocolate! Yes! <laughs> I love it. Okay, we're going to take that. Nice. Oh, man, I'm going to leave all the looting in in the beginning. we got to make this episode a little bit longer, probably about 40 minutes, maybe, or maybe even longer. Who knows? I mean, it would be good that by the end of the episode, um, usually they're shorter because I cut a lot of that stuff out, but we're leaving it in because I'm really excited, guys, and I hope you are too. This, this is a really exciting moment when you have a new part, a new version. I can't wait for Ravenhurst 3.0. It, it's going to change the game as well. If you don't know Ravenhurst, you know, go back, watch some of my videos, go over to Cage's channel, check him out as well. He's playing Ravenhurst. He actually was streaming it last night as well so check out his twitch channel as well for ravenhurst absolutely fantastic i think he was playing it with a sub server i could be wrong but he definitely was playing multiplayer and it looked like a lot of fun i'm gonna do that off camera that's something i can do off camera no not no no bother there let's pick up that aloe vera that's gonna allow us to make oh whoa whoa charlie oh look at you you you, you can't get out oh that's so cute you've spawned in oh look great can you go into your knees? Because it would be really much easier to kill you if you would be on your knees. <laughs> okay, come on, that leg has to come off. Okay, can we somehow... Oh! 
shenanigans! Yeah. Cheat hacks! <laughs> Pods, we infectinated! Oh no! Look at look at it. We're so pretty. <laughs> we have to the bite mark we can cure by uh taking that. But oh shenanigans. Oh my lord, that I brought that on myself. I, I shouldn't have been so cute so uh nosy. Killing a zombie on the legs, especially on survivalist, is like the worst thing you have to do, okay? Can we not just get him in the face from up here? Actually, he's under the stairs here somewhere, so let's be smart about that. There we go. Oh, balls. Okay, we got the attention of some unwanted guests. But that's okay. Okay, let's see if we can melee him a little bit. Being infected is not good. I mean, we're playing on survivalist, guys, so we might actually want to put a bed in here. I just, I only just thought about that um, before we die. Oh, nice. More arrows. Come on. Oh, this guy's gonna be a tough son of a gun in survivalist, especially in the beginning. Oh, there's more zombies there. Oh, my balls. Yes! You lady, no shouting at me, okay? Oh, my dear lord. That is shenanigans. Oh, my balls, he's tough. Maybe I shouldn't have put it on survivalist. Yeah, these guys are easier. <laughs> oh, excuse me! <laughs> Don't now, not now! I have to focus! Oh, come on, we have 11 more arrows left. There we go, nice! Oh, yeah! Oh, worth it, so totally worth it. Nice, we got some tokens as well. Okay, we gotta stay the hell away from these guys. So where, what happened to our friend here? Did he get out? No, he's still not out. <laughs> okay, let's help him out. These footsteps are really creepy, guys, because I don't know if they're coming from your man. Or oh, look at that. It's so hard to get his head. Ah, come on, we're gonna be able to get his head. Yes! I think I might have to lower that difficulty, guys. That's shenanigans. That's way too early for... Oh, come on. The guys, seriously. Oh, come on! Nice, nice. Now is the chance. Now is the chance. Oh, I can't see his head. Ah, your balls. Come on. Nice. And that was the last arrow. I don't. I do not believe it. Oh, we can actually open this. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> he helped us opening the safe. Yeah, guys. If of all the zombies are like that, we're going to have to lower the difficulty because this is gonna take way too long. Look at that. Oh my dear lord. Okay, let's open the crate. Nice! Oh, yes! That should heal our infection. We have a level one infection, yes? Okay. Eat. Nice! Oh, love it. There's a crate behind it as well. Because being infected, the problem is it does take away your stamina. So it is a problem. Oh, yeah. Okay, I do that afterwards. Let's, let's focus on this, okay? Excellent. Oh, chainsaw. Nice. It's not that I can make it straight away, but it's really exciting that when you can make it, that you have the recipe, you have it unlocked. It's absolutely awesome. Oh, sweet. So when we have duplicate recipes now and we scrap them, are blueprints not a thing anymore? Because blueprints... Oh, maybe they still are, because the blueprints were used for making class papers, I think. But I don't remember. I think so, but um, at the same time, uh, they're used to make schematics, which is really great. So if you have like a tool that you have to learn through a schematic and somebody else wants to learn, you can say, hey, I'm going to take my armor and make a schematic out of it, you know, which is really cool. Uh, incendiary uh, ammo, yes, pistol book, very lovely, reading that. Come on. 
painting metal. I'm all for that. Scrap wood. Yes, we're going to make some scrap armor straight away because I, oh, I think we need duct tape for that. We need to make armor actually. If we play on survivalist, we're gonna have to worry about armor. Usually I don't because like in the zombie movies, once you're caught, you're caught, you're dead. So uh, it doesn't make sense to like uh, be able to be too overpowered. But I think playing on survivalist, we might want to make some armor sooner rather than later, especially if we're gonna end up with a lot of cloth or um, leather that we can make some leather or cloth armor. I don't know why I'm taking these pictures with me. I, I maybe I'm used to it from uh, starvation mod. Oh, this this door was unlocked to the outside. I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. We well, let's take the toilet apart. So we're gonna get our pipe. There we go. Nice. And that's the only toilet in this house, I think. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, nothing in it. We could theoretically do that. That shouldn't take too long. Let's see what's inside. Nice. Oh, yes. Poncho. I didn't know that was behind the recipe. I already finished all the um, couches here. Oh, nice. What is in here? Oh, look at that. We have another iron block there. That's awesome. Oh, shenanigans. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we took all that. Let's go upstairs and have a look. Oh, the kitchen. We did finish the kitchen. Yes, we did. Okay. I just want to make very sure. I'm taking everything with me. <laughs> you never know what you need it for. I mean, finding a wrench would be pretty sweet right now, but we don't need it. Oh, did I do the chair here? The chair gives us some iron. There we go. Nice. Let's go upstairs. Okay. Nice, more couch. Yeah, I'm going to do that on the way out. Oh, sweet. Now, we already had a pistol book, yeah? So let's scrap this and see what we get. We still get the blueprints. Very good, because they also sell really well for the trader. I hope they didn't change them. Mini bike for dumb shits! Yes! Oh my god, I love it! Oh, the mini bike book. Not that we can make one right now, but yes, that is already one roadblock gun. When we get to the part where we can make a mini bike, we don't sit there going like, oh, I didn't find the book yet. Oh, nice. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh, I love it. Herbal antibiotics. We are sorted. Okay, we're going to have to make a bed in this house just in case we die. Oh, nice. Look at that. Schematic wrench. Hunting knife. Come on, read, 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 read. And we already... Oh, that's a fishing book. We already have that. So we're going to scrap it. Nice. Oh, man. When we get to the trader, we already can start making some coin. Read. Love it. Oh, these are very good finds, guys. Right off the bat. That is so awesome. Nice. Hollow point bullets. We already know that, do we? Yes, exactly. Scrap it. You see, they sell for 50 and they turn into three blueprint papers, which is 150. So they're 50 each, basically. So, well, that's the sell price here. But what they actually sell for, I suppose, has to do with your bartering skill or whatever. That is nice. We already have a full set of scrap armor in recipes, I think. Okay. Let's take that with us for the extra iron and leather. Nice. None of these chests actually had anything in them yet. That is awesome. <laughs> we're going to take that bed apart as well because I think we're going to find... Um, scrap... No. What? Oh, you see, careful here. Because this one we can't read because we're not high enough level yet, I think. So this one we have to keep. Hollow point. You see, that should... I don't know why this... We can't read that. I think it has to do with our perks because we don't have the perk or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. So always be careful before you scrap them because I remember in my last Let's, in my last let's Play, I, I scrapped a lot of recipes that I actually would have been able to learn later on. Look, oh, we didn't get any feathers. Of course not because we need the actual um, wrench for that. Okay, excellent. So let's put the bed here. Let's put our bed here. Come on, bed. Excellent. Nice. 
Sweet, we gotta make a new one that we can take with us, but this one will do for now. I'm gonna take all this equipment apart, and then it's one o'clock, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the trader and see if we can get there before sundown and check out that boat, hopefully. Maybe that is the trader even, I have no idea. This house actually also has a gun safe, and uh, all these railings kept falling down because I moved the couch that it was holding up the railings, and look, we get so much metal down there. Uh, when it falls down, it's 12 metal each, so I made the new tools. We leveled up as well early on, and I went three points into toolsmithing. So now the next tools we have are... Where are they? There. 50. So we can scrap that, actually. And um, there we go, 50 as well. But I want two. Let me see. Will I use the 50 one? Yeah. We're going to get into that. That is awesome that we actually can do that. That is really good. I like that because it's kind of a nice balance between being overpowered and not. So we do find a lot. But it's still only the normal game up to this point, which is really, really good. I don't want to go into the town just yet, like I said. We're going to the trader first, and let's see what is in this gun safe. Oh my lord, excellent stuff. We actually got into everything. Screw the lockpicks. Who needs lockpicks? So when I said electrical class, it's actually funny because I forgot they all unlock like that, and it's like, okay, you know, let's see what the easiest class is to complete in the beginning. So I suppose in the end you specialize in the class you want first or you focus on that first once you have the resources to do it. But in general, there is a, like killing animals. We already killed one of 25 animals. There you go. So that might actually complete automatically before the others. Oh, nice. Oh, so worth it. it. We only have two bullets, but it's so worth it. That is awesome. Why can we not learn this yet? Hollow point bullets. Let me see. Is that actually because it's behind a point uh, perk? Hollow point ammunition. There you go. Recipe armor crafting three. So once we have armor crafting at level three, then we should be able to learn uh, that recipe, as you can see there. So there was a prerequisite. That's why we couldn't learn it. Very nice. I, I couldn't remember why it was, but obviously that helps a lot to remember. So let's uh, scrap this. There we go, because we have a better one now. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, let's go over to the trader. That is it. We're done with the house. This is awesome. Oh, nice. Let's get that aloe vera going and let's get these birds' nests. Very good. Let's see how much iron do we get. Look at that. We're already getting iron. Oh, this is nice. This is so nice. To be able to get resources right away. Now, let's see where there is a patch. There is a patch of clay. Very nice. Oh, zombie dude. Let's see. Yeah, these guys are a bit wacky. They're... Oh, nice! That's what they drop. They're awesome for dropping uh, bike parts, these guys. Absolutely fantastic. But the problem is they have that weird animation glitch, and that is from Vanilla, where you don't see them actually hit you. So when you do the hole going forward and shuffling backwards to avoid uh, the zombie hit, you, you do end up getting hit. Now, I'm actually leaving the bite mark on me because the bite mark itself doesn't do anything. This is the first aid bandage which will get rid of it, but it also heals and stops bleeding. And unless we're bleeding, I don't really want to use it because I only have to. So what I'm going to do is I let this bite mark, which has no effect right now, yeah, to become infected. And once it's infected, we're just going to take one of those pills and we're going to be fine. So I don't worry. And we're also going to get hit by a zombie probably again uh, very quickly. So let's get actually a little bit of coal as well. No, with this. I think it's with this. No, no, it's with this. And just in case. Now, the one thing I didn't like about War of the Walkers, I think it was War of the Walkers, was the torches. You had to put fuel into them. I, I wasn't a big fan of that um, because it was just too cumbersome. So I didn't even bother with torches really around my base because I could constantly having to put stuff into them. Um, scrap. We should make a scrap shovel, actually. Come on. Oh, bird. Is he coming for us? I think he might be. Well, in the moment we are still... Oh, he's he's lining up. Oh, what a nice headshot! Awesome. There we go. Feathers for days. We're going to get some good amount for feathers for that. It's a pity they don't give you proper meat, but look at that. Nice feathers. Really lovely. Loving this. Okay, let's get a little bit of clay, and then let's continue to the trader, which is somewhere here. I don't... Why can I not see my red marker? Where's my red marker? There it is. Yes, we have to go that way. 
We actually got infected, guys. The vulture, the second one, came down on me and infected me. So I don't know if the bite mark will also be cured by infection. I have no idea. But actually, if this house has cloth, then we can make a bandage. I just want to keep two bandages in my inventory until I have some cloth. And we come, we are coming actually across our first crate here, which is awesome. Oh, look at that. A lootable zombie. Nice. Oh, this might have some food in it. This is awesome. Okay, let's make sure we don't gonna get surprised. Oh, nice. Yes, we got a fish stew. Awesome. And there's a pig as well. I already got a wild hog, which is awesome. And there's a pig as well here. We want to get the meat as much as possible. So if we have a piggy here, we can slaughter. That would help a lot. It's hiding in the tall grass. Oh, it's over there. It's a bit far away. We might not be able to get it. Yeah, it's going to run off because of the NPCs. This NPC is fighting a zombie. Very good. Let him do the fighting. Look at that. Yeah, baby. NPC, you go for it. Yeah, oh, is that, is that the pig there? There it is. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, excellent. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Nice! Oh! Oh, balls! Oh, no, 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 shenanigans. Oh, he gave up. Oh, no! Dog, 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 oh, no! What a timing, how terribly awful! We would have had this dog, guys! Oh, shenanigans, I have four zombies on me. Hopefully the dog is not there anymore because I think the dog should have probably gone back to where he was originally at. I hope so, I hope so, because we're gonna have to pick up and run. There you go. Oh no, that's not my bag. Balls, where's my bag? Where's my bag? There. Oh. Yes. Okay, now really quick. Also, this and this, just in case we come across that silly wolf again. Okay, okay. Okay, let's get some cloth if we can. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yes, 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 I know, I can see you. Let's deal with you guys. And then here's where we make our next uh, bed row. Nice. Oh. Whoop. No touchies. I love that you have the bite mark when they touch you. It really, really makes you want to be careful not to get touched. Oh, come on. There we go. Love it. I'm really enjoying this so far. This is nice. It still has the nice vanilla feel to it. And... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, don't ever walk into a house like that. Kicks, you should know better. You should know better. Oh. There we go, nice. Oh, I love it, glue. That is nice. No touching. Oh, okay. We have no. We have no more stamina. Nice. Love it. Where's more wood frames? Why can't I put them in the door? Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the hammer. I was like, oh my god, why can I not upgrade that? Oh, that is a fast hammer. It's just in case the zombie comes, we can kill it like through here. And it's only wood. We're going to get out really fast. Oh, that is awesome. We're definitely going to make a bed here. This is not going to be our first base, so don't worry about it. It's going to be maybe our first night's day. And that's about it. Yeah, man, come on. And a wrench! Oh my god! I love it. I love it. This is so cool. Oh man, I love it. Now the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is now I play the bigger backpack version obviously because as a content creator bigger backpacks we, we just love it. Okay, it helps us a lot to focus more on the content rather than going constantly to and fro and spending hours just running around because we cut that out anyway. So if we do a, t a town loot run what we usually do is like put like say 20 chests outside loot and then run in and out in and out and it's like yeah back in a second yeah back in a second at least this would allow us to like saying like yeah i'm not back in a second like let's just do it right now and then we can just do smaller like less runs you know like in between takes oh that is lovely we have cloth now that is fantastic so we can now make oh we don't know how to do it because health not health not yes there we go nice love it saving points for those moments and recipes first aid bandage favorite craft bam end of story love it and we also have a couple of more oh yes there we go can make two more do we have more yes we have some cloth fragments and we also have the weight so let's make the fishing pole now why not let's see how that works and we get worms by digging the the ground the earth i think so we just do that and that is everything done in here. Okay, brilliant. Let's put a bed in here. Just in case we die. There we go. Nice. We looted all that. Beautiful. Now we can take the wrench, for example. And we should get pipes from this. Which means first night forge is the thing if we want it to be. Well, we probably want to find the place first where we're going to stay. It's going to be a POI, guys. It's going to be a POI. Because I don't want to focus on crafting, on making my own base just yet. There we go. I don't even know how the fishing pole works yet. That is something we're gonna have to figure out, but it's exciting, guys. Oh, nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Do we have enough resources? I probably have a lot of things I shouldn't have on me, like flour right now I don't need. I don't really care for that. But actually, can we, maybe we should do pick it up and we can see if we can sell it. There it is. Come on, I saw you. I saw you. Where are you? Ah, there we go. So let's go and find the trader. That's how I would like to finish this episode by being at the trader and at least selling our first items to make some money, see if he has some interesting tools for us. I think that's the trader. I think that pirate ship is the trader, guys. That is awesome. How did he manage to do that? That he changed the... Oh, hello, pink hair. Don't shoot at me. I hope you're not shooting at me. No, he's shooting at the zombies. Be careful. Even though they shoot at the zombies, guys, they will hit you hard and shoot you in the face if you're in the line of fire. They will not hesitate to pull the trigger. That is really, really something... I have to be careful for dogs, but you know what? Now I have my gun and any dog coming running at me or any wolfy dog or wannabe dog wolf is going to get hammered. Okay, we have a lot of NPCs here, which is very nice. It gives us a chance to continue looting. Love it. Look at that. Nice. Okay, let's do this. Hi. Oh, yeah, he's, he's too close. Let's go to the other side. There we go. And nice! Oh no! Ah, screw that. Actually, screw the class. There we go. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We are so full packed. We can sell a lot of that stuff, which is gonna be awesome. Oh my lord, if this is the trade, it isn't the trader. What is this? Is this this Dwell's Drunken Brewery? Is that it? A pirate ship as a brewery, that would be awesome. What the balls is this? That is sick! That is so sick, guys! <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, oh man. I'm out of stamina because I'm constantly running. My athletics is gonna be level 100 before anything else. Okay, dude, dude, seriously, chill. There we go. Yeah. 
Oh, we, do, we don't even have room for that. Okay, dude, I don't know what to do. Okay, we don't need that bone right now. There we go, nice. I'm afraid to go on it because I'm kind of thinking like, this has to be full of high level zombies. What if, what is this even? Are we gonna dare to have a peek? I can hear the zombies. This is sick. It's a pirate ship. How does a pirate ship even get here? Apocalypse, end of days. Oh my god, this is amazing! Oh man. Now, we can't stay in it, obviously, because there's probably hundreds of zombies on it, but we're going to, to, to like, stay there for a night to loot, like, at least. This is awesome. Also, if we come across that big POI, I don't know if I already said that, that gigantic POI, that um, oh, we're gonna have to mark this to come back this is pirate ship bay safe wave point oh yeah baby look at that there we go fun time castle oh yeah pirate ship oh man that is so sick now let's go to the trader and see if we can get there before it closes so we can do some sales there we go oh let's see if we can get some worms actually oh don't get sidetracked oh my god there's so many exciting things happening Oh, I don't like the biome. I don't like the look of that biome. It looks like scary. Oh, nice. I do like what I see there. Okay. Shh. Nice. Okay, let's get the corn. Let's wait for the deer to run itself tired. Come on. And it's going into our direction anyway. Nice! What a shot! Oh! So awesome. Okay, now, let's see. Where's our bone there? Now, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is the fragments, yeah? Because you obviously want to collect them. So if you don't have a place to stay yet, you're going to need a lot of inventory space just to keep the fragments. Because you don't want to throw them out, you know? And you don't know if you're going to find all three and can combine them into one. So uh, you're going to have to find a place very quickly to call your first kind of... Oh, shit. Don't get too close to... Oh, Whew, that was close, guys. That was close. The last thing we needed right now was a, was a black wolf like biting us in the ass because I don't even know if all these bullets would have been enough that we have now a gun. Because we have seven bullets, that's it. Where's that traitor? Come on, baby. Oh, look at that guy. He always has good loot, but right now we have no more space for loot. So let's focus, let's focus, let's get to the traitor. Up the hill, through the forest. At least we're in the forest biome. There's a lot of forest biome, which I like. It's a very nice, friendly biome. It's easy on the eye. You love it. It's nice and friendly. It doesn't look as creepy, scary. And let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Nice. Oh, I love it. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Nice. On top of this. Oh, hello. No, no, no. It seems to be gone, guys. It seems to be gone. Let's get into the trader for safety. Oh, is that a dog? Are you kidding me? Is that a dog? It's a black wolf. What is with the black wolves right at the entrance? Okay, let's run for it. Let's run for it. You little, you're not going to get my ass. I'm telling you that much. Yes! Let's close the door. Let's close the door. Oh, yes. Oh, berries for days. This is awesome. This is great. Oh, yes. I love it. We got his berries. We took him by the berries. Okay, let's see if we have something interesting here. No. Can we use that? Is that a thing? Yes, we can. Oh, my Lord. It's actually awesome if we could use this forge and everything. We can. Like, theoretically, we could just start burning the iron in here. I used to do that before in... Um, and one of my let's plays that I literally went in here and I had a base nearby and I just used all his tools, which is pretty awesome. Nice. Let's scrap that. That's going to be our first um, brass. Very good. Oh, we can't pick that up. That's right. Okay, let's go in and let's see what we can sell. This is fantastic. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. We have some garbage here and we have a cement mixer, which is oh, it's for loot. We can sell this because we don't need concrete mix right now. We can sell this. This is so awesome. Oh, recipe. Cloth fragment? Yeah. Okay. Inse oh. 
What happened? Oh, the brass went in. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, boots. We can actually wear them, of course, because we don't actually have any shoes. Let me see here. Which boots are better? Oh, these ones, when we repair them, they're going to be better. Oh, yeah. Wear them. And these ones, we're going to sell. But we repair them first because they sell for more. There we go. 26. Nice. Okay, let's go in. I think... This is gonna be it, guys. I'm gonna leave this episode here. Look at this, Trader Put Jimmy. Put away Oi. your weapon unless you'd like to die in my store. Yeah, these guys. Let's sell them, definitely. They're gonna give us some good money. And dice, we don't need them right now, but we can't sell them. Sandwiches, can't sell them. Oh, concrete mix. Yeah, dude. Oh, it's only three for 20? Oh, we might as well keep it then. Well, there's no point keeping it. We're gonna have to make new ones later, so it's no point. See, chocolate? Oh, we're gonna eat the chocolate. We're not gonna sell that. Flowers? There's no sell price. Chairs? We could sell the pictures. Do you not want the pictures? Oh, okay. In this case, we can get rid of them. I thought we can sell them for money. That would have been really nice. Steel arrows? Yeah, you can have them. That's fine. I don't need them right now. And what else can you sell? That's pretty much it. Oh, we could actually do the mini bike handlebars because we can sell them. We can craft it ourselves later. Like, we don't need that right now. That is awesome. Mossy Brew, we keep that. I think that's it. I don't think I want to sell anything else right now. Uh, not at this stage, no. But let's see what we can buy. Uh, well, leather boots we could buy, but that's a lot of money. And we want to keep the money we have for more important things. No, no tools. That's decor. And no, that's it, pretty much. And what's the secret stash here? A claw hammer? Ah, we can make that ourselves. Iron arrows, 45, that's 630. The dust, the scrap boots, that might be nice, but they're so expensive. Everything is so expensive. A desert eagle, 10,900. Oh, a steel machine excavator, but you can't use that. Leather gloves. I don't want to spend 500, guys, okay? This is not happening. So I don't think there's anything useful here right now. Um, everything we have is probably sufficient. So I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Thank you All so right, much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode store. of this. If I got the time, you should see this probably um, before actual tonight, which means you're going to have two episodes of this today if everything goes well. We'll see. We'll see how much time I have. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming. Boom. Machiti. Oh, yeah. That's going to help us a lot in fighting the zombies, guys. That should help us a lot. I have to find a place to stay. I, I think I might have to go all the way back to the POI we were at. But I would like to stay somewhere near the trader. Because if we have to keep coming back here to make money, which seems to be very important seeing that the class things are going to be in vending machines. Let's see how good that is. Oh. We have to get really close with that. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. This is so exciting. That stupid bird. Look what we found, guys. Oh, I can't even show you because this bird is like constantly at me. Oh, my lord. Look, guys, a mining helmet. Yes, we found a mining helmet, which is a great start.